Hey guys, so JetBrains IDEs has a plugin called IdeaVim, which is a Vim engine that you can use to configure Vim motions and Vim things inside of your IDE. It has a very good support for a lot of the Vim functionality that we are used to. And you can also uh, use the VimRC file that you have in your system as well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install it and configure it. It's not a detailed one, but I'm going to show you the most important parts so that you can configure it however you want. All right, so when you open your IDE, you should have to go to this plugins, marketplace, and then search for IdeaVim. I already have it installed, install this one. And then you can go look at your status bar here and open up IdeaVim RC. Now, you notice here that most of these things are kind of familiar to us because uh, it is actually uh, using some of the Vim RC um, things. So in this case, I have set a bunch of options and some key maps. So the thing here is there are two ways or there are two things that I've noticed that you can use to set up your different key maps. There's this normal syntax that we're used to. So you have like insert map, um, JJ map to escape, for example. You can set your leader key to space, but then really the biggest thing is finding your actions. So in this case, actions is something that you can do within the editor. And that's really the heart of this plugin, I think. Uh, how do you find the different actions that you can use to kind of set key maps for? And so you can see here in my configuration, there's a lot of actions that I managed to find. And to save you some time, um, let me show you how this is done. Let's just open some random file here. And then if you open up, um, this search all thingy and go to this actions. You have to search for Vim here or idea Vim. And there's this function called, or this thing called track action IDs. Just toggle that. And now anytime you press anything in this editor, you'll see some action IDs. All right. So let's say I'm here. I right click and let's say go to uh, refactor rename. Just click on that. You see the action ID is called rename element copy it go to your idea of mrc and i already said that by the way so if i search for it here you see i simply um, map it to leader r uh, lr and then put an action and then the name of that or the id of that action and, and that's just rinse and repeat essentially for every single action you want to map and there's two syntax for this so you can use this colon action or you can use something like um let's just copy it and paste and then you can use a syntax that looks like this and that's pretty much identical i like this syntax but you can use either and that's pretty much it really um, you can also install a bunch of plugins so you can just say plug which is a plugin manager for vim and add the plugin that you want and then you can set it i have them all set here and then Essentially, you can just start using them. One thing to notice is if I go to my browser, um, this is the repo for the IdeaVim plugin. There's a lot of useful documentation that you should probably look into. There's also a bunch of plugins that it supports. So Nurtry, for example, to navigate your project files. Like Easy Motions, for example, is a nice plugin, which allows you, allows you to jump to different words quickly. Also found if you go to this discussions page here, share your idea of mrc here you find a lot of good examples from different people on how they configured idea of them this is how i found most of my configuration actually so many ways to do it you can search for actions yourself or you can even just look at um, other people's configurations but that's how i did it a couple things to remember you can you need to find your action name or action id you can set it uh, a prefix you can prefix it by action and just set whatever key map you want. That's the kind of the flow for this. You don't have to have all of them, but that's uh, one way to do it. And by default, uh, Vim Motions works perfectly. So, you know, navigating with um, JQL, etc., things like selecting things, etc., all that works perfectly. So, you don't need to do anything um, special here. So that's a quick video for you. Hopefully you found this useful. I'll be sharing my idea of MRC in the description below. And yeah, cheers.